what, December, what is it, December 22nd, and uh, still have a lot of, a lot of greens in the garden. All edible greens, collards, um, different types of um, kale, Russian kale, and lots of collards. And I got my leaves um, worked in the ground pretty good. So I can eat very well. I got my bamboo back here that's, that I'm thinning out. And those little sticks you see, that's um, kiwis. More Russian kale. More collards. So it's nice to have greens that will last most, if not all, the winter. Got some garlic in here, and these are some of the uh, gooseberries and currant bushes. And these raspberries really produce this year, and they love uh, they love um, the leaves I put down. And of course, this is my, uh, believe it or not, my um, asparagus. I got some more asparagus plants in, but this is my asparagus. Uh, bush and of course here's the Susquehanna which I love so I'm really uh, happy up here um, it's a great place to live I can afford the uh, stay up here indefinitely and uh, yeah, here we go more more stuff I got uh, um, comfrey growing all up and down the uh, sides so that's my watercress down there watercress and here we are, Tawanda Creek, um, really running, so it's kind of a interesting, of course the airport's down there, I could walk to the airport, and we got our, take a quick walk into the greenhouse, which has all kinds of stuff uh, growing. This. Uh, Uh, greenhouse that's uh, I use heat sealed polyethylene on, on it to uh, keep the polyethylene on it heat sealed on the, the hoops there's some triple wall polycarbonate for the door let's see open it up and then we'll come on there we go here we go in here and it's all kinds of stuff I have um, Lots of salads. Like I said, this is almost Christmas. There's my salads. I have some uh, cuttings that I did of some of the trees. I even have some of the uh, cuttings for the... You look real careful down there. That's the cutting of the blackberry, thornless blackberries. There's some uh, parsley, uh, garlic. There's some um, borage over there. And these bottles are full of water to um, give a little uh, resistance to the cold. There's some Swiss chard over there. Most of this is collards. And I have some lentils that seem to be surviving. They're actually putting up uh, shoots. I'll try to find some better stuff. And that's some watercress hanging here. i got to get an aerator going. But yeah, this is, uh, I'll be able to have, uh, I guess, salads all year. I'm going to see if we can zoom in on one of these uh, lentils here. Let's see. Yeah, down there, if you look real careful. See, you can see the lentil. And there's little... A little too close. Yeah, you can see little shoots coming up on the lentil. So they're actually look like they're 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 going. And like I said, here we go the uh, different greens that I have. So there's no reason why anybody can't make their own greenhouse out of hoops and uh, have food all year round. Take care.